Hello friends. Now here comes part three of my presentation on property reinsurance. So in this section, I'll be giving working examples for calculation of fact requirement and recovery of claims under various treaties. Now the first example is I am taking for nine lines surplus treaty. Now let us assume that ABC insurance company takes nine lines surplus treaty with maximum retention of 50 crores. So since it is nine lines, the total capacity would be 50 plus 50 is the retention and 50 into nine that is 450 and total comes to 500 crores. So total treaty capacity is 500 crores. Now let us assume that the company decides to write a 100% share of uh, 500 crores PML risk. Now, in this, uh, let us see the first option. If the company decides to retain, retain full 50 crores retention, in such a case where PML is 500 crores, then the company can accept 100% share by utilizing full treaty capacity of 500 because the PML is 500 and your treaty capacity is 500. 500 is subject to the condition that you retain the maximum amount which is there in your treaty. So in this case, the fact requirement shall be nil. Now let us see option two. If the company decides to retain 40 crores only, not 50, and they accept 100% sure, in that situation, net retention is 40 crores, that comes to 8% of 100%, that means 40 divided by 500, that comes to 8%. And in that situation, the treaty capacity shall be reduced. They will not be able to utilize full treaty capacity. So the reduced capacity shall be 360 crores. And that's, this amounts to 72%. So total placement is 400 crores, 360 plus 40. And so balance is your 100 crores. And 100 crores is 20% of 500. So that means the FAC requirement is your 20% of 100%. Your 72 plus 8, 80% is placed under the treaty. So remaining 20% is your FAC requirement. Now how to avoid FAC? So in case we want to avoid FAC, naturally we have to reduce our share. Then accept lower, lower share, say 70%, don't take 100%. If you accept 70% of the risk, then in that case, the reduced obligation shall be 350 crores. Now you are not supposed to place 500 crores as you have seen in first case. You are supposed to place only 350 crores because your share is reduced. Now total capacity with the 40 crores retention is your 400. So again, the fact requirement would be nil. So what did we do? We reduce the share. Now, in the same example, we are taking option 3, where we are assuming that company decides to keep 30 crores on net account and they accept 100% of the share. And the treaty capacity is again 500 crores, considering 9 lines treaty as per the previous one. So how the placement will be done in this case? Net retention shall be 30 crores. This is 6% of 100%, 3 by 500. And uh, your Treaty capacity will be 9 lines to 70 crores, that is 54% of 100% and total is 300 crores. So fact requirement will be 200 crores, that is, so that comes to 40% of 100%. Now how to reduce fact requirement? What are the ways? So this 40% is very high, that is too much. So what are the ways how to reduce? Company may accept lower share, reduce your share instead of 100. If you take 80%, then let us see if you are maintaining the same level of retention to 30 crores and reducing your share to 80%. So 80% of 500, your liability is reduced to 400 crores. So 300 crores is already placed. Your balance requirement is 100 crores. That is 20% of 100%. So instead of 40, your fact requirement is reduced to 20%. How to avoid? Now the question comes, how to avoid? Avoid means whatever is your capacity, 60% is your treaty capacity, better you take share maximum of 60%. So 
so no fact would be required now this is another example placement of risk and recoveries of loss under treaty so again we have assumed the same thing retention is 30 crores and it is 19 lines treaty we are assuming here so 570 is your 570 crores is your treaty capacity so total capacity 570 plus 30 it comes to 600 crores now in addition in order to protect your net retention of 30 crores the company has taken risk excel cover of 25 crores in excess of 5 crores now let us see the pml is let us assume the pml of a risk is 1000 crore so irrespective of some insured we are supposed to place 1000 crore pml so out of this now 100 percent share is 1000 crore now net retention is 30 crores we know we have the company has decided to place maximum so as to utilize full treaty capacity and it comes to 30 divided by 1000 1000 is total 100 percent so 30 by 1000 it comes to 3 percent so 3 percent is placed as net retention remaining is 570 crores is your treaty capacity utilizing full 19 lines so 57 percent has gone to treaty and gic obligation will come in that case obligatory that is five percent five percent of one thousand it is fifty crores so all in all if you see what is your facultative requirement your thousand was total minus thirty minus five seventy minus fifty it comes to three fifty three fifty is your fact requirement and it comes to thirty five percent now in case the company decides to take hundred percent of the risk then even if they utilize their full treaty capacity, they will have to go for 35% FAC. Now, assuming in this particular case, assume that there is a loss of 200 crores, a fire loss. So, how the recoveries will be made? Now, you see 3% was retention. So, 3% of 200 crores, it comes to 6 crores. 6 crores would be the net retained loss. It will be on your net account. So 57% would be recovered from treaty. It comes to 114 crores, 57% of 200 crores. Obligatory is 5%. So 5% of 200 crores, it will come from GAC. 10 crores would come from GAC. And 35%, 35% was placed under FAC. So the FAC reinsurer would pay 70 crores. 200 crores, 30, 35% of 200 crores is 70 crores. So this way the recoveries would be done and since the company has taken risk axle cover of 25 in excess of 5 crores so this additional recovery shall be done since it is more than 5 crores what is the net retention 6 crores is the retention so this additional 1 crore shall be recovered under risk axle treaty so here is scenario 2 scenario 2 we have assumed a file loss of 500 crores so let us see how the recoveries will be done. So 3% is your net retention. So it will be 15 crores. The treaty will pay 57%, that is 285 crores. Obligatory will be 5%, that is 25 crores. And facultative would be, facultative would be 35% in this particular case. So the recovery would be 175 crores. Since the net retention is 15 crores, so the risk excel treaty would pay 10 crores in excess of 5. Now let us see the last example where the loss is 1500 crores. So in that case 3% is your 45 crores that is a big amount on net because the loss has crossed your PML of 1000 crores. So it is a case of PML error. Then treaty would pay 855 that is 57 percent 855 crores obligatory GIC obligatory will pay 75 crores and your facultative 525 crores would be recovered from facultative reinsurer now recovery under risk excel that would be 25 crores that is 30 in excess of 5 full recovery would be made now since the total retention is 45 crores so 45 minus 25 is recovered 25 is recovered under risk excel so balance is 20 crores is yet to be recovered. Now, this uh, 20 minus 5, that is 
5 crores is your retention. So in excess of your retention, the 15 crores can be recovered under PML error treaty if it is arranged before hand. Now importance of PML in RI placement. Now let us see what is the importance of PML. So currently if you see the rules, reinsurance in all mega policies is done based on overall policy loss limit taken by the insured. In absence of loss limit, the PML of the risk is worked out by insurers risk engineers as per their underwriting guidelines for PML computation. In case PML report is not available, then a standard method of PML calculation that shall be used and the calculation is done as under. So PD PML, it should be minimum 30% of total PD sum insured of the policy having sum insured in excess of 2500 crores at any one location. This rule has come with effect from 1st of March 2019. GIC has introduced these new guidelines. In case of risk where the sum insured is less than 500 crores, the revised rule is you have to take 100% of PD sum insured as PML of the risk. Now BI PML, it is 100% of BI sum insured of the top location for 12 months IP. So whatever is the top location which is taken into consideration for PDPML calculation that shall be taken and the BI sum insured for that location 100% will be taken as BI PML. And if the indemnity period is other than 12 months then it shall be proportionately reduced or increased. So total PML of the risk shall be PDPML plus BI PML. So this is the way we work out the total PML of the risk. Now let us see how the placement is done based on this PML or the loss limit, whichever is lower. Provided the calculated PML is more than 30% of material damage sum insured of the highest location. This is very important. If the PML is lower than 30%, then minimum 30% has to be taken as per latest JC guidelines. Following steps are to be followed for RA placement. Now, first of all, find out the minimum PML by GIC method or by internal guidelines and take whichever is higher. So, minimum 30% has to be maintained. Now, loss limit is to be seen if the insured has opted for any loss limit. And now, whichever is lower, that is to be taken for placement. So, if loss limit is lower than your 30% GIC method, then of course the placement shall be done based on loss limit. Now third is find out the final amount for RI placement by applying the percentage share. Now whatever is the company's share in the risk that has to be applied and then the final amount of RI placement is to be worked out. If the loss limit is not opted, then take the calculated PML subject to minimum PML calculated as per GIC guidelines that is 30% rule or 100% rule for risk less than 500 crores sum insured. Then find out the net retention and treaty limit quota share or surplus we will see in subsequent example. Then find out the obligatory session to GIC which is 5% fixed. Then find out the facultative requirement of the risk for the spillover PML. So if RI support is not available, then following options are available for full RI protection. Reduce share, this is quite obvious. In case RI FAC is not available, then share has to be reduced so that the balance amount comes within the treaty limit. Or arrange RI support from international market on excess of loss basis or layering can be done. Then place FAC RI on differential term this is another solution which is available that is higher premium which is known as funding or higher deductibles this uh, sometimes it happens that insurance company is forced to go for this because uh, RI placement is not available so they have to go for differential terms or uh, RI placement or fact placement on higher deductibles but this is undesirable or the last solution if nothing is available then keep the balance exposure on net account 
which is again not desirable. Now let us see example 1 and in this example we have assumed the loss limit is 1000 crores opted by the client and the company has taken 60% share. Now PML of the risk in this particular case we have assumed it is 1650 crores and loss limit is 1000 crores so whichever is less we will take 1000 crores for placement now company share is 60 percent so 600 crores is the total responsibility is the liability of the company for placement now GIC obligatory it goes 5 percent as we know so 30 crores is placed under GIC obligatory treaty and balance is 570 crores 600 minus 30 now treaty capacity we have our treaty capacity 19 lines treaty, treaty capacity so it is 600 crores so the fact that requirement would be nil because total placement is 570 and the treaty capacity of already available is 600 crores so the fact requirement is nil and the risk can be 100 percent placed within the treaty without any fact requirement now we have seen one one particular thing that treaty is not fully utilized in this particular case so what to do insured has two options reduce the net retention to utilize the full treaty capacity that is instead of 30 keep 28.5 crores in place of 30 so ultimately it will be full treaty capacity would be utilized or the other option is increase participation in the account to make full use of the treaty keeping 30 crores on net account so don't reduce the retention keep 30 crores and increase the participation now another example where the loss limit is increased to 1500 crores and share is again 60 percent so now pml same 1650 now the loss limit instead of 1000 it is now 1500 crores so total exposure is now increased to 900 crores 60 percent of 1500 so 900 crores is the total liability gic obligatory five percent it comes to 45 crores so what is the balance 45 crores is placed 855 crores is yet to be placed now treaty limit again 600 crores we have seen so how much is placed 45 is placed under gic 600 under treaty including your retention so total 645 is placed so 645 of 1500 so 43 percent of the risk is placed so what is unplaced exposure total was 900 this was supposed to be placed and minus 645 already placed so 255 is yet to be placed so this is your fact requirement so how much in terms of percentage it comes to 255 divided by 1500 so it comes to 17 percent of 100 percent so other way also you can work it out because total share is your 60 percent 43 percent is placed under treaty so straight away we can work out the fact requirement as 17 percent so that the total comes to 60 and 60 is your share now let us discuss retrocession it means reinsuring a risk by a reinsurer in other words it means that a reinsurance company seeking support from other reinsurer for full or part of their exposure. In case a reinsurer provides say 20% support to an insurer, it is reinsurance. But if they seek further support from other reinsurer for part of their business, say for example 10%, then it is known as retrocession. Now retrocessioner. It is the reinsurance company who provides RI support to seeding reinsurer. So reinsurer A seeks further support from other reinsurer B, then B would be known as retro sessioner. Then overriding commission. It is the commission earned on retro session. That is the commission earned by the reinsurer from retro sessioner. Now let us understand what is fronting. Fronting means 100% transfer of risk and premium to other reinsurer with no retention by seeding insurer or reinsured. That is fully seeded to reinsurer. And fronting is not permitted in India as per the norms of IRDAI. 
That means an Indian insurer cannot transfer 100% of the risk to another insurer locally or abroad. Now let us understand the reinsurance tree. So first of all, let us see there is insured and there is a broker. Broker brings the proposal. Then it goes to insurance company. So insurance company gives protection, insurance protection and whatever commission is paid from insurance company to the broker or agent that is your commission now it goes further so insurance company seeking support from another reinsurer so here comes reinsurer this process is known as reinsurance that insurance company seeking support from other insurance company is reinsurance and this company who is providing RA support is known as reinsurer and the company seeking support is known as reinsured or sedent and whatever commission is paid to the insurance company is RA commission. Now reinsurer seeking further reinsurance support from another insurance company so that is known as retrocessional and this process is known as retrocession. Reinsurer seeking support from other insurance company is retrocession and whatever commission is paid to the reinsurer is overriding commission. Now funding of risk, this is very important. That means payment of higher premium by reinsured to reinsurer than what has been received by the insurer or the reinsured. And it is normally not requested or advised, it is to be avoided and to be adopted only when significant exposure remains unplaced because of very competitive terms offered by the insurer which are not acceptable to reinsurer. Only in this situation funding of risk is done. Now RI placement on differential terms. So when insurer accepts participation in a risk more than its treaty capacity as explained earlier then they will have to arrange for facultative support for uncovered exposure. Sometimes fact reinsurers do not agree with policy terms and may insist for higher deductibles or impose loss limits against few or all perils before agreeing to provide fact support. So this situation is known as placement of risk on differential terms. Now here comes the end of my part 3 of this session and uh, in next session i'll be covering global programs and master programs and other intricacies of that business till then thank you bye bye